up everybody, No Kiss back here for another movie review. Uh, I haven't filmed a movie review in a while because I've been working my way through all the Tremors movies. Got two more to go. These will be watched tomorrow night or here in the very near distant future. By in the week, those will be watched. But um, I got a couple movies from my library and I'm like, well... I've been wanting to see these for a long, long time since they've actually since I heard the uh, saw the trailer. I'm sorry, it's two o'clock in the damn morning. This one is Frat Pack. Their main draw on this film, for this film, is Danny Trejo. He's in it for like two minutes, two to two and a half minutes at the most. Uh, he ends up giving this fucker a tattoo right there and you can even see the tattoo if you look closely it, it's just like a little like dot or a line this is all about this guy named Elliot uh, who is a very shy graduate um, from Britain and his mother is about to get married to this American which it's not even really explained how they even met, and if it is, I don't remember it. Um, so she says, you might as well go to America, and I want you to go to America and meet your um, new or soon-to-be stepbrothers. So he goes to America, meets his stepbrothers, and they said, hey, you're coming with us on a road trip. We're going to go on a uh, road trip across the across country to this eternity uh, with these girls and you're going to come along with us. That's all the movie is, him going with this group of guys and girls um, and just all the hijinks. I was really, I was really looking forward to this movie. I love these like party movies, these dumb, stupid ass sex comedies. Did this one work? Yes and no. There's some really outlandish things that happen in this film that I'm not even going to uh, say. But there's a lot of gross out humor that is not even needed for a movie like this. If you're going to do like a beta house where you're actually showing the people in the fraternity, no. When you're just going on like a vacation, there you go, vacation, or road trip type of a movie, then you can do that stuff, uh, but this film doesn't do anything very well, the actors are so terrible, and they don't even have any bigger stars on the back here, it just says, oh wow, Beverly D'Angelo, yeah, that's right, she's in here, barely she's in here, but you also get Kevin Farley, he's the main uh, big star of the film that they have besides Danny Trejo, who's in it for two and a half minutes. This film could have been done a lot better if it was handled with a little extra care um, by better screenwriters who can actually write comedy, but I will say that I don't mind a straight-to-DVD Lionsgate film. I actually look forward to them because their straight-to-DVD films are sometimes better than their theater films. <laughs> They're like big-budget films. And, and apparently this film was pushed back a long, long time. Did this DVD come out this year? Yeah, 2018, 2017 DVD. If you watch the previews, before the DVD, there's previews for, like, Wingman Inc. and American Idiots and Casual Encounters. Casual Encounters was last year, like, early last year, maybe even 2016. I reviewed it last year. I know I did, but... Um... There was another one. But one of them was from 2011, 
was this film made in 2010, 2011? Because of the previews, you would think that it was. You're pushing these films that no one's going to be able to find out in the wild at all. You can't find those films in stores unless you're really looking at like a family video or the last remaining blockbuster in the entire world. You won't be able to find them. Uh, that really has nothing to do with the movie. That's just me bitching about the previews. And uh, actually it does have to do with the movie because it feels like it was really rushed. And Danny Trejo looks younger in this film than he does now. Which is really, really odd. But if you're into that kind of stuff, I know I've said a lot of bad stuff about the film. But overall, it's a shut your brain off comedy. If you like the party sex comedies, if you like drinking and gross out humor, which I like gross out humor and sex comedies, but that one is not great. It's not bad, but it's n far from terrible, far from good. It's pretty mediocre. I'm going to give Frat Pack a B minus. It was a decent film. Now on to a film that I was really looking forward to. I love the original. And um, that one is Escape Plan 2. Let's get into the review for this one, shall we?